Now, this mission is the first example where you're actually going to go and buy. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. So let's start over here. I'm doing this for all the people that want to want to pick this game up. Hey, Jimmy. All right, so mission three. I didn't skip this animation here. So you're going to go and you're going to buy level two stinger if you can afford it. If not, just buy it on the next mission. It's okay. You'll get through it. And if you don't have stinger level two here, you can just jump walk across the bridge. So you're going to hold jump and then hold jump again and just keep holding forward and jump and you'll just jump across the bridge. It loses you time, but um, mission one and two are easy enough to get consistent and do consistent S ranks on. So after a point, you're probably just going to be resetting when you get to this mission anyway, if you don't have stinger level two, so don't sweat it or don't sweat learning that alternate strategy, I guess. So once you grab stinger level two, You're going to stinger over to this door. Skip this cutscene and then walk through the door. The first, the orb cache that you're going to get here that you need in order to get the S rank and the special bonus, and you need all the orbs from this. You absolutely need all of them. This is going to be another hold jump. So you're going to wall hike off of here up to here, and then you're going to hold jump onto here. Wait for Dante to grab all of the orbs so that some of them don't fall down and have you cause you to have to go back and grab them. And then you're going to stinger jump, which is just stingering off of a ledge. You're just going to stinger jump off the edge here to save some time and then stinger down the entire bridge. And I think I believe it takes about 6 stingers. And then you're going to mash X and circle through the text and then do 4 stingers and then hold jump. Now, there are actually two ways you can do this fight with the skulls down in, in the bottom because the, the end goal of this skull fight is to just get through it without being hit and have three runes of Devil Trigger. So if you want to do that, you if you want to do that for sure, you don't have to use Devil Trigger down here. Just stinger into the pit and then uh, stinger all of the skulls. But if you want to do it a faster way, here you go. You can just double trigger run through here, position on the platform, run towards this first skull here, and then stinger him, and then undt as soon as you connect. And then stinger the rest of them. Two stingers should do it for each skull. And then you see, and this is how you'll know if you have stinger ready is that you will see the the runes here flash white just jump onto the platform there and you'll be ready to go and fight phantom and this i know is a fight that gives a ton of people a problem and this i think is one of the biggest glass ceilings in this entire run but hopefully i'm going to break this down for you guys pretty well Hopefully. Okay. So once the fight begins, you should already be getting be getting ready to jump. And I should note that how quickly Phantom turns here is random. He can sit here like he does for me, or he can turn around pretty much immediately and try to fire a fireball at you. But this is pretty much what a optimal, like an almost optimal Phantom fight looks like. I guess you can call it optimal in that it only took me four hits to kill him. But I didn't use four Helm Breakers. So as soon as this, the fight starts, um, you should be turning around and then pressing jump. Again, I'm going to play this back for you guys so that you can see that I don't even hold jump. I just tap it. So one more time. I'm just holding I'm not holding jump, I'm just tapping it as soon as I land. Because what you want to do is you want to aim to land on the base of his tail. Because right through here Did I time the enemy step? I'm not even enemy stepping. I'm just jumping on to him. It's just like I guess you can call it timing because I'm not I'm not mashing down here. I'm just jumping. And I'm not even I'm not even enemy stepping on this guy. That's 
that's a misconception that people have with this fight is that you have to enemy step off of Phantom. All you're doing is you're just jumping onto the base of his tail, and then you devil trigger, and you can actually see me land. I just straight up land like I'm on flat ground, and then jump up again, and I hold jump, and then Helmbreaker. So there you go. There's the first one. And then I do the same exact thing for the second. Again, it's just tapping it. Here I messed up, but he gives me a pretty good pattern because he just turns around and then I just stab him in the face. And then I hold jump and then helm break him again. So I'm going to play this back for you guys again in slow motion this time. Because it is very important that you understand what's going on here. Okay. Alright, so once again, I'm going to land... And you can already see Dante turning around here. Because I'm already aiming my stick back towards Phantom. And then I jump, land, DT, jump, Helm Break. Jump with DT still on, jump, Helm Break. Now ideally you want to get the Helm Breaker here as well. But I screwed up because I jumped a little bit too far to the left. And then I tried to jump off and Helm Break him again. Fortunately, I got the... The DT Stinger. And then I jump over him. Bam. DT Helm Break. And then the fight is over. So once again, it's not even enemy stepping. You're just jumping onto the base of his tail. And then Helm Breaking off. And then jump Helm Breaking off of it. And once you collect the orbs, you just go to the door, and then you get the special bonus and the S rank.